As we're dealing with complex numbers, we need to use the general form for cos theta, which is e to the i theta add e to the minus i theta over 2, and sine theta, which is e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta over 2i. So sticking in i, we have that cos i equals e to the i squared add e to the minus i squared over 2, and sine of i equals e to the i squared minus e to the minus i squared over 2i. I, I squared is minus 1, so therefore we can simplify that as cos i equals e to the minus 1 add e to the 1 over 2, and sine i is e to the minus 1 minus e to the 1 over 2i. When we square this, that i will mean that the sign changes, so we have cos squared i add sine squared i equals e to the 2 add 2 add e to the minus 2 over 4 minus, because of this i, e to the minus 2 minus 2 add e to the 2 over 4. And then when we add all of this lot up, these cancel and these cancel, leaving us with 2 over 4 add 2 over 4, which equals 1, which is answer D. So for complex numbers, cos squared add sine squared is equal to 1, exactly the same as for reals.